Well, you've already seen the title of this video, so I don't need to explain what it's about. So let's just dive right into my Malwarebytes tutorial and review. I'm gonna go over all the different Malwarebytes subscriptions later, but just remember that no matter which tier you pick, the price will become even cheaper when you use my exclusive discount. Either grab it in the description or use the QR code on screen to save time. <laughs> and once you've chosen the right plan for your online needs, all that's left is to install. I'll show you how to download everything on both Windows and Mac OS for now, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a follow-up tutorial for mobile versions. Now the foundation of this Malwarebytes tutorial is to download the installer. After that, the whole process starts automatically. When I've located the app's icon on my desktop, I just need to enter my login information, then it's completely ready to use. Overall, the installation process was just as straightforward as most other top competitors on the market. So even if you're a beginner, it's very easy to figure out how to use Malwarebytes. I found out that the Windows and Mac interfaces look super similar, both offering a clean, clutter-free homepage and easy to navigate tabs. Here, the detection history, scanner options, and real-time protection are shown at all times on the homepage, so I can see exactly how many threats the app has caught throughout the day. While those three functions are probably the ones you'll utilize the most, Malwarebytes also allows users to further customize the app by clicking on the settings tab. Here I can do all sorts of things, such as enable or disable notifications, change the language, turn on device alerts, and even alter the app's background to my liking. All in all, the range of settings adjustments on the Malwarebytes antivirus is actually quite advanced compared to other providers. So, aside from having a user-friendly interface and some customizable settings, just how feature-rich is Malwarebytes? To be honest, I was pretty disappointed to see that there was no sign of any firewall, parental control, or password manager in sight. However, I do consider most of those to be bonus features in general, and Malwarebytes still has all the crucial tools I need, such as virus protection and the file quarantine. Now, the most useful feature that I wanna cover in this Malwarebytes review is the real-time protection, which is included in all premium plans. This constantly works in the background of my device, protecting me from any threats, including malicious sites, PUPs, ransomware, and exploits. I especially like that it shows me a live update of exactly how many threats have been caught. Plus, even though real time is running 24 seven, I found that it used minimal system resources and was very light on my CPU usage. Now, in order to qualify as one of the best antivirus options on the market, I expect there to be multiple layers of protection. As you can see by these four toggles over here, the Malwarebytes antivirus offers just that. Here I can customize exactly how much security my device has. However, I advise keeping them enabled at all times for maximum safekeeping. Web protection prevents infected sites from getting anywhere near me, while exploit protection is quite advanced and designed to shield my device from even the sneakiest of attacks. All right, moving on to the crux of any antivirus, the scanners. I can choose the most suitable one depending on what I currently need. The quick scan option checks my device for any active threats, all in around a minute and only using a sliver of CPU. The threat scan, on the other hand, automatically occurs every day and does a more thorough job. However, the most detailed option is definitely the custom scan, which takes longer to complete, but checks every corner of my device for malware. For beginners, I suggest running a full scan, so be sure to specify that in the app. Okay, now if you tuned into this Malwarebytes antivirus tutorial just to see how many features the provider offers, well, another noteworthy one is the browser guard. This extension is available for all major browsers and I really appreciate that not only does it block third-party ad trackers that collect and sell users' data, but it also blocks all those annoying ads. While the browser guard is available for all premium plans, there are actually some bonus features included in the higher ups. For example, the basic premium includes real-time protection and allows use on up to three devices but for just over a buck and a half more, you get three devices and get their VPN. I was actually quite impressed that it includes over 30 countries to choose from and 450 servers. Keep in mind that most market level VPNs cost close to that price anyway, 
And the Malware Bytes Premium Plus VPN not only includes all the features I already mentioned, but also allows up to five devices. Now, don't worry, I've already made sure that this VPN comes with sufficient security measures, and I can say that it's definitely up to par. The WireGuard tunneling protocol allows for maximum security while also keeping speed smooth and stable. Malwarebytes additionally opted for the AES-256 encryption. So now that we've established how secure their bonus features are, how much security does the antivirus itself offer? Like its VPN, the Malwarebytes versus Malware problem is solved with their use of advanced protection tactics. This ensures that any data on your device remains safe and free of threats. To further settle the battle between malware bytes versus virus, independent testing was done, and out of a possible score of six, the company received 5.5 for protection, another 5.5 for performance, and six for usability. Now, while these are really decent numbers, as usual, I had to do a little malware bytes test on my own just to be totally sure. Right off the bat, the scan was able to detect 50% of the malware I planted. To be fair, I did pick the harder to catch ones, and the real-time protection will be able to detect the other 50% in the meantime. So if that level of protection sounds like something you'd like to add to your device, don't forget to grab the deal I've left down below so you don't pay full price. Overall, I found Malwarebytes to be easy to use, very customizable, and most importantly, it protected my laptop really well. I can see now why it's such a well-known provider on the antivirus market. Hey, let me know in the comments if this video helped answer all your Malwarebytes questions. And if you'd like to see one of my comparison videos between two providers, that one will be waiting for you on screen so you can watch it once you finish this one. Until then, I'll be seeing you next time.